still lived. Wow. Uh -huh. Oh. Hi everyone. Welcome to Player Guides. I'm Hannah. I'm Cameron. Um, and we are here with Bardock, who is challenging me to a battle. Hello there. He says hi. They should hear him, right? Yeah, I checked. I checked. They can hear him. Great. <laughs> um, participating team. Yeah, you want to pick your team. Uh huh. Great. So you can just pick your party that you already have. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. And same here. Yeah, so I assume that uh, we, we did one fight before. We weren't able to get all the audio uh, from it. Um, but right now, the score is Bardock 1, Hannah 0. But she's learning. Okay. You're doing, and I think recently you've made good strides. In, I've been trying. I think you've, yeah, we. I think you've got a, a pretty good understanding of typing. It's a lot to remember. And then you've been understanding stats a lot better. So I think I think uh, this this will be a good one to watch. But Bardock's been very patient, which I appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, OK. So all of these you've seen before. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. So what? You, you don't want to say because you don't want right. to you, you don't want to clue him in. But right. what are you thinking? You want to start with? What do you think I'm gonna start with? I know. Yeah, that's, oh, that's the question. The question. <laughs> what is he? What do we think he's going to start with? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, hmm. You have some fat Pokemon. I know. <laughs> I like the fat Pokemon. <laughs> I think they're the cutest. Yeah, that's been interesting seeing you build your team. It's been, uh... Oh, shit. oh wait, no. <laughs> I think you undid your choice. There you go. And then I think, uh, oh, you want to just pick your order? So the other, oh. you only really care about the first one for your team. You don't, the other ones you'll switch as you go. So you can just pick them down the list from there on. Okay. Yeah. And I the Pokemon I'm battling with, by yeah. the way, are Pokemon that I knew Hannah would encounter up to this point in the game. Yeah. Well, actually, just before the second island. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I'll grab a bunch, make it as equal as I can. And here we are. Yeah. yeah so the one, the one I think, uh, well, let's see if, if you uh, called it. Yeah. I, I think you made a good choice based on what what he had type wise. I yeah. think odds are. Ooh, okay. Oh. Okie dokie. I chose this Pokemon because it has a particularly good move. Yeah. Yeah. And Inke is dark psychic. Dark psychic. Yes. Okay. So. So you don't have any anything on uh, Pigwidgeon that's super effective against right. Inkay. Right. Um, you could switch something in, but then the question is, will he, like, you could either try and attack right. or you could switch in, but then will he predict the switch in? Right. Um, <laughs> let's, we'll just, we'll do an attack. Did I hit the right thing? No. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <sighs> I remember he can, Bardock can hear you. No, I know. Okay. I'm just, I'm, you do outspeed me. I was hitting, I was hitting the wrong button. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And just for any viewers who are curious, uh, um, these are all Pokemon I caught or always traded through Wonder Trade, so none of them have particularly great stats or anything, just like Anna's team. I didn't breed them especially or anything like that. Alright, switching out. Good, good. Okay, so the question is... Okay, so use Foul Play, which is Dark type, which will not hit you for very hard. Okay. Excellent. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Okay. Oops. There we go. Oh. So it's a switch into... 
Oh, and this type matchup I don't remember, but I assume uh, Poison is good against Fighting? No. No. But it has Intimidate, so Intimidate lowers Mr. Sumo's attack. Got it. And Fighting is not good against Poison. That's the one, okay. So not only do I resist your attacks, right. I lower your attack simply by switching in. Hmm. What should I do? Okay. That. I also have the reflect up as well, so physical attacks will only do half uh, damage to me. Okay. Yeah, they they take a little less damage. And right now, a lot of your party is physical, but as you get further in the game, you'll get access to more special type attacks okay. and and Pokemon that use special type. Ooh, that was close. If I'd have gone for an attack there, I probably would have given you a defense boost. Mm -hmm. So Evans is poison only? Yes. Okay, hmm. Well, I could have done just like, you could do ground. I, it made sense in my head. No, no, no. I, I, the, the typing is not 100% accurate. Like, Pidgey is normal flying. Yeah. And it's weird because it's like what makes it normal. Like I guess it's just a normal bird, mm -hmm. but then like what's the difference between Pidgey being normal flying and another Pokemon being pure flying? It's I think there's a little bit of room for. Uh... Ooh, okay. Does it have? Oh yes. Okay, oh. I thought for a second that it had levitate, um, but no. It what ra raised its speed? That was an ability it has. Yes, Bulldoze would normally lower a Pokemon's speed. However, Inkay has the ability, the, the ability contrary, where uh, stats are reversed. So you should have lowered my speed, but now you've raised my speed. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Oof. Damn. I used your own attack stat against you there, and I lowered your defense with, uh... So all stats are... Oh, so, oh, now I'm confused. So all stats are flipped? No. Basically, any stat changes to me are flipped. Ah, I see. Okay. But foul play uses your opponent's attack stat? Yes. That's okay. it. Okay. Mudbrays ha do have quite a high attack stat. Snorlax. So then the, yeah. I think, Hannah, you've been pretty good. Like, compared to last time, you're switching a lot more, trying to trying to figure stuff out. I'm doing my best. Yeah. Yeah, um, so it may, it may look quite boring or even cheesy to people watching, but switching is a very important part of single battles. Yeah. You always want to switch and sort of get into the best position. Yep. And, like, when I had my Ekans in against your Mudbray, there was literally nothing Ekans could do to it, so mm -hmm. it, my choices were to let Ekans die or switch out, so yeah. you may as well switch. Like, some, I know it can be annoying sometimes with the amount of switching that goes on. Ooh. Oh. Oh, cool. Shoot. Let's see how much this does. Yeah, that'll be a... Let's see, that's... Hannah, that's what Munchlax is so good at. It's really yeah. beefy, and then with leftovers, it can... Yeah. yeah. It would... Uh... Oh, this might connect. Beautiful. So then that'll be tough, because you'll basically need time yeah. to wake it up. Yeah. So it kind of forces you to switch. Okay. Not necessarily. You could wake up on this next turn now. You, you're you definitely going to wake up within three or four turns. Like, you could wake up on this next turn now. Or up to three turns. In three turns. Time. Yeah. So it's kind of a gamble. Yeah. If you switch it's... now, you'll still be asleep when you switch back in. That's true. Yeah. And Snorlax is beefy enough that it could take a couple Snorlax. hits, maybe. 
but the question is, yeah, it, it's it's up to you how you want to manage that risk. Well, let's see if he wakes up. Let's see if he wakes up. See what happens. Cool. Yeah. So you can't take another one of those. In and um, so in, in competitive Pokemon battling, there are really two kinds of it. There's the mm -hmm. there's the official VGC, what the Pokemon company says goes, kind mm -hmm. of rules that they use at tournaments, etc. And then there's the sort of casual, or not so casual, but the the fan based community known as Smogon, who uh, came up with tiering systems and um, item clauses, etc. Mm -hmm. And one of and one of their most interesting clauses is sleep clause. Yeah, you can only have one Pokemon asleep at a time or something. Yes, like there's nothing really stopping me from pressing hypnosis until all of your Pokemon are asleep, but that would be kind of lame, a bit boring, and unfair. So Smogon say, that's not allowed. Let's not do that. Mm -hmm. While in VGC, it's fair game. Oh, really? So VG VGC stands for video game championship. Video game. Is it called that because there's also a trading card game for Pokemon? Is that where that name comes from? I think so, which is known as TCG. Yeah. Is it the card game or trading card game? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I've never really been into the card game, except when I was a child. Yeah, yeah, I, I played, I tried to play back then, but I didn't fully grasp the rules, and I, we kind of, my friends and I played to the best of our abilities, but... Oh, wow, Inkay oh. is so bulky. Thanks for that reflect. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Oh. That was a good idea to knock off there. If I'd have switched into another Pokemon, you would have knocked its item off. Yeah, I think that's what Hannah was thinking in case you switched. So then the, the question will be, ooh, okay. Oh, Pikachu. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, remember, yeah, your typings. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Might not have been the best switch on my part. Someone's having fun outside, I think there's someone <laughs> calling. Yeah. It's probably one of those, um, do you have those in London? It's like a... The pedal wagons. You it, have a bunch of people sit literally on a wagon with pedals and they drink. And, it, like, the wagon is also a bar? I think I've seen that, like, in London city centre. <laughs> not. I can see that. But not out in the, the suburbs or, heck, in the Oof. city I live in. Uh -oh. Ah, excellent. I was tempted uh, to go for... Oh, my cat. Hello. <laughs> Don't nudge the microphone. I can hear him. <laughs> uh... mm. Mm. Well, there is literally nothing Pikachu can do to that. No, leave the microphone. <laughs> what is it? It's his cat. I can hear. Oh, what type of cat do you have? I can hear just a, uh, just a, um, <sighs> I forget what the word is. Calico? I think this, oh. this fair pattern is. Yeah. Which we... is like ginger black and bits yeah. of white and stuff. I used to have, yeah. We pronounce it, um... Calico. Calico. Oh, Calico. Yeah, makes um, sense. Yeah, my mom's cat, when I was growing up, my mom had a cat, and she was a Calico cat. She was not very nice. <laughs> oh, this cat is the cuddliest cat ever. She was uh, mm. my friend's cat, but then her daughters and her it's cat, her other cat... Right, because cardamom is water. Yeah. yeah. Well, that wasn't not very effective. Um, it was just uh, not powerful enough. Yeah, not the strongest move. I forget what this one's called, Cardamon. I think it was nicknamed, or or it's from a different language. It was traded to me. <laughs> hmm. All right. No, I think you're doing better, Hannah. Like you're, you seem more confident. You're making your decisions. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling good. Fine. Splash. And that did not do much. Yep. Mm. Mm. Alright. Oh, 
I don't know that move. Guaranteed to go first and lowers your attack. Oh. I was hoping you'd think I'd switch and not use a grass move. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Just so that lowered attack, it didn't do too much. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I didn't notice this. I, well, I don't want to spoil it for you, Hannah. It, it's kind of cool what happens to the three starters evolutionary. Um, okay. Their final evolutions, they all get a second type, and I thought that was interesting. Fun fact, those starter evolutions were leaked months and months and months before the game came out. We just thought they were crappy fan drawings that someone made up as fake leaks, but no, they were the real things. They were the real cheese. Couldn't believe it. Hmm. Did anyone ever find out what the the nut and bolt one was? Oh, Meltan? Its name now. Yes, Meltan. Meltan. There was a very good video with Professor Oak and Professor Willow from Pokemon Go talking about I think it. that's gonna kill me. Ooh. Not quite. Oh. Oh, Alfie. He's Raises your there. defense as well. He's hanging in there. However... You know your defense yeah, is Yeah, I don't think you're... Yeah. yeah. Bye. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, yes, that reminds oh. me. Okay. We'll see. Bowser. Hmm. And I think for our Growlithe, right, we got the less good ability. At some point, Intimidate's probably more useful for online stuff than what's it got? Flashfire? Yes, Growlithe and Arcanine were so, were the like um, everyone loved. What? What's the? What am I saying? Uh, in in VGC 2017, mm -hmm. when you could only use Pokemon f like found in the Alola region, mm -hmm. Arcanine was one of the few Pokemon with Intimidate. So it was on about 50% of teams. No, more than 50%. Like 90% of teams were using an Arcanine. Yeah, Hannah. Uh, Intimidate's super good because basically every time you switch that Pokemon in, yeah. the opponent's attack gets lowered. Oh, so do we need to get that back at some point? Did I get rid of that? No, no, no. it's 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 an ability. It's something a Pokemon randomly has. Okay. Oh. Um, so you would like. And Rock Rough is Rock type, so yeah. Fire is not super good against it. That still did more than I was expecting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's uh, attack raising. Unfortunately, there's no real... <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. I'm thinking out loud. There was something that there's... I had. This is probably going to make me faint. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the question was going to be... So she was going to use a Z-move, and she has Phytinium Z, and it, it listed all-out pummel twice for some reason. Yeah. Uh, if you have two fighting moves, then it'll list it in both the slots, but the one that flashes gold is the more powerful version. Got it. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. All right, now take Wigeon. So then, so grass is super effective against rock, but rock is super effective against flying. Yeah. But is so, it? Yeah. So it but might yeah. do some damage. It'll, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, so rock rock's faster than I thought it would yeah. be. Or maybe dark tricks yeah. isn't as fast as I thought it would be. I think Bardock is going to kick my ass again. It's, it's, it's a learning experience, it's right? A it's, learning it's a learning experience. process. I did not expect um, that to actually one hit KO you. <laughs> I thought you'd live like Dartrix or the Rowlet line is quite a bulky. No, I I, uh, I looked at Dartrix's IVs and they are not great. Yeah. 
I think it has a pretty low health and defense IV. Miss Cleo, I happen to know, has quite a low physical defense stat. Yeah. And since I raised my physical attack, Ooh. I have a that's dark gonna, Yeah, that's gonna hurt. But you still lived, wow. Uh -huh. Oh, that was a good shot, though. That was, that was smart thinking on your part, Hannah, if you could put something to sleep. Yeah, there was a chance I might not have had that ability. Mm. I believe Rockgrowth has two. Okay. I think I think we're gonna have to keep uh It's already it's already out. You don't need to switch it. Uh oh, uh. oh no. I don't know about that one. That's been drooling on me. That's just a sign that he loves you. He, she? She. She. <laughs> so rock is super effective against There he goes. Yeah. Yeah, that thing's health was too low. Down for the count. All right. Mm. No, I think I think yeah. At this point, it's uh. Oh, it's gonna have to be this one for right now. Yeah. Because Rockruff has a dark move for Miss Cleo, and right. Rock type does not take much damage from fire. Right. But it, you had a pretty good run, Han. I think there were some clever moves that I think you're you're learning. Rockruff is a decently fast Pokemon. That's the thing. Yeah. And, uh, if you're able to move first, you're able to get the damage off first. And considering yeah, I, I raised my attack, it, this yeah. is what they call a sweep. Alright. Rockruff is a very cute Pokemon. I, I love he its is. evolutions, despite them not being that powerful competitively. Does it evolve? He says oh. it evolves. Oh, sweet. Do we. Is Rockruff available in Moon, or is that we just haven't gotten to the area yet? I told you, since video one, all throughout your videos, to go smash those rocks. Oh, right! Right, that's where it is. Okay. You said, right, we've smashed all the rocks. <laughs> oh my god, and then you left the island. <laughs> but, oh well. <laughs> It is on our to-do list. Uh, I think we're gonna. Oh. Oof. All right. Down for the count. That was good. How do you feel better about this one than the first one, I Hannah? Do. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I do feel better about it overall. You know, we'll keep we'll keep tackling it away until we yeah. figure something out. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. Yeah. That was but, good. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, man. Thank you.